News 46 is brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a local man is arrested for multiple stolen vehicles. Mercy Air is dispatched for a serious accident involving a juvenile. Smiles Across Pahrump is happening this weekend. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Monique Mitchell and Unette Gentry. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Wednesday, April 6, 2016. I'm Monique Mitchell. And I'm Unette Gentry for News 46. A prompt man was arrested last week by Las Vegas police after allegedly using a stolen vehicle, which led to a much larger discovery in Pahrump. 39-year-old Brandon Scott Huckleby was taken into custody by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for possession of a stolen vehicle out of Clark County. After Scott was in custody, the Nye County Sheriff's Office was asked to check on Scott's residence for possible stolen vehicles being stored there. NCSO detectives discovered nine vehicles at the home on Dyer court. Two were confirmed stolen. The others are still being investigated as possibly being stolen. All nine of the vehicles were impounded. 38-year-old Bobby Brown of Albany, Oregon, has been arrested by the Nye County Sheriff's Office for possession of marijuana over an ounce, possession of drug paraphernalia, and other traffic violations after deputies in Tonopah conducted a traffic stop on his vehicle. During the stop, deputies were able to smell marijuana from within the vehicle. The driver of the vehicle, Bobby Brown, advised deputies that there was a personal amount of marijuana inside the vehicle. After conducting a search of the vehicle, deputies discovered 4.81 pounds of marijuana as well as other items of paraphernalia. Brown was arrested and transported to the NCSO detention center. Well, building inspectors are looking into a vehicle versus structure accident that occurred this morning. Emergency crews responded to a residence on Laguna Street this morning for a single vehicle accident that involved a structure. Dispatch told deputies and Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue crews that the driver of this vehicle mistakenly pushed on the accelerator on the car instead of the brake and careened through the wall of the garage into the home. Building and safety arrived on scene to inspect the residence to see if it was still structurally sound. The results of that have not been divulged at this time. Nye County Sheriff's deputies are investigating. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. All right, folks, we'll keep it here after this break because we're going to have your Desert View Health Tip.